this came out, I believe, was it, I guess it was today or earlier, might be yesterday. Uh, at least the time it's recording, anyway. So, for Spoken got a new deep dive magic parkour type trailer, showcasing, I guess, more of the gameplay here. What I can do, I know this is sort of a mixed bag, mixed bag or reception is getting. I personally still think it should, you know, get a fair shot, and hopefully it does do well. I want it to do well. It's a new IP from Square Enix, and they're trying to put a lot of effort into it. It's just not being made on the best engine. It's being made on a Luminous engine, and we all know from, what, FF15, or it was another game, as far as how problematic the engine can be. So, we'll see. It's, I kind of wish they went with Unreal 5, just so they can showcase the power of Unreal 5 engine, but hey. Uh, hopefully this is still all right. They delayed it a few times to get some bugs tweaked and stuff like that. So let's see what's looking like. Here we go. Let's see. When she is mysteriously transported from the concrete jungle of New York to the mystical land of Athia, Frey Holland soon discovers that she has new magical powers and abilities. Among them are magic parkour skills that help her deftly traverse Athia's treacherous terrain. As her journey begins, Frey must first learn to master the flow ability, which allows her to move at high speeds. It is the okay. first step to performing more complex traversal maneuvers. The traversal Tapping does look really good in this skills, game. Frey must also learn how to sustain her stamina. When deploying magic parkour abilities, her stamina is slowly depleted, limiting how much of her powers she can use. Ah. Certain magic parkour abilities can aid with stamina management. The rush ability, for example, not only allows Frey to flow even faster by unleashing a burst of concentrated energy, but also replenishes her stamina. Okay. With the shimmy skill, Frey can accelerate rapidly by kicking off the ground, covering large distances in a single jump without using any stamina. Very like ninja like. Completing spellcraft oh, challenges Shinobi -ish. also lets Frey upgrade her magic parkour skills, reducing her stamina consumption or giving her a much faster recovery rate. Mastering these techniques is key to ensuring that Frey always has her powers ready when needed. Defying the force of gravity, Frey can learn how to float. This ability softens oh. any fall, allowing her to safely land from extreme heights. Okay. Frey can also travel across Athia's rivers or lakes by skimming across the surface with her glide ability. Glide my butt because it's a surfing. It's a surfboard, traversal, magical surfboard. Also as defensive maneuvers. Oh my. A well-timed zip unleashes a magical tether, letting Frey grab on to certain objects and pull herself out of harm's way. Okay. This power also lets Frey access locations just beyond her reach. Makes Athia sense. is filled with towering structures and land masses, which Frey must learn to conquer. With Soar, she can kick off surfaces and traverse vertical heights with multiple leaps in quick succession. Phantom footholds can also be created using scale, allowing Frey to ascend to the greatest heights. Scale is also an important part of Frey's defensive arsenal letting her deftly maneuver around Athia's most dangerous beasts. Okay. Upon mastering these parkour abilities, Frey can combine them with her magical combat skills, transforming her into a formidable force capable of taking on the endless threats in this beautiful yet deadly land. All right. So... It's starting to look a little bit better. This January 24th comes out next year. Looking a little bit better than, you know, last time we see some gameplay footage. But uh, also wondering, you know, is this going to be one of those RPGs where essentially we got to take it down God, I guess, because a lot of these JRPGs, we got to do that. And are we going to take down the God of this world? Probably. Well, to see. <laughs>